Good morning, it's Anne here. How are you today? I hope you had a great weekend. And for those who celebrated Father's Day yesterday, I hope you, um, or today, your time, I hope you all had a lovely time celebrating. I just wanted to do a quick live um, just to show you what I mean when I talk about a capsule wardrobe. I'm certainly no expert at creating a capsule wardrobe. I did follow some uh, very simple guidelines. Um, a girlfriend of mine and her friend wrote a book about how to create a practical capsule wardrobe to save you money, to save you time, thinking about what outfits to wear and also to um, save you space in your wardrobe. So um, my clothes aren't fancy and my wardrobe's not fancy, but I just thought I'd give you a quick overview of um, what my wardrobe looks like, my clothes, because I did just um, upgrade, or not upgrade, but took away some of my summer clothing just to make room for uh, my winter clothing. Not that there's a big difference because it doesn't get all that cold here, so it's really just our summer clothes with a, a jumper. So just bringing out some of these jumpers and sweaters and things like that so just let me um, turn the camera around and I'll show you so this is um, the wardrobe I've got an excess of hangers now now I just used to use all the odds and sods of hangers but um, my girlfriend convinced me to buy these flocked hangers from um, Kmart they were about nine dollars for a three um, and they're quite good I must say but when I do my laundry I hang all of my shirts on a coat hanger um, straight onto the clothesline so when I bring them upstairs to put them in my wardrobe I do have an extra step now um, before I just used to place them straight into my wardrobe but um, now I've got an extra step where I have to take them off the old clothes hanger and put them on these flocked ones so not um, a great deal of clothes as you can see but um, I still think it's probably too much. But uh, just to colour code, what the um, capsule wardrobe is, is you um, create, I guess you could say your uniform or what your look is, whether you're looking for a casual look or if you need a more styled formal look, whatever that um, is for you. I live in the subtropics. Navy and white has always been my favourite colours. Um, that's what I like to wear the most of. And even if we go out for dinner um, or if I have a business function, it's certainly not formal. It's always um, pretty, well, casual. So that's the kind of look that I was going for. So I basically have white, navy and black as my base colours. And then um, I do have a touch of red, which will go with navy and white and black. And uh, we'll start from this side. I have a couple of white shirts, which will go with anything. This is just a leftover from um, the laundry I did on the weekend. Just one of those um, around the house type T-shirts that doesn't fit in with the colour scheme, I guess. Um, a couple of black shirts. And then I kind of went for this, um, it's not really an animal print, but last summer I went, um, there's a couple of animal print things around. I have a scarf here um, that's kind of like an animal print and some um, sandals. So, and that goes well with um, items. So, um, and I don't worry about putting my clothes around the right way. It's one of those quick and easy things I save time on. Um, I don't know if you're supposed to, but I don't. Um, navy and white. And then this is navy blue. And like I said, you can um, mix and match them uh, with accessories, scarves, shoes, um, necklaces, uh, whatever you like. And then I've gone. F I've got an additional um, touch of pink. Pink is like an accent um, color that I've got. So um, 
that's not really pink but it's got the black in it my sister gave it to me ages ago and it's very sheer so I can wear that in summer um, with a white camisole underneath or I can wear it in winter with a black long sleeved shirt underneath so these are just my couple of pink items um, that I can wear this is a like a twin set long sleeved jumper it's sort of like a soft cashmere type um, wool and then I've got my bottoms I've got uh, black these are around the wrong way but um, kind of like long uh, legged full length capri pants jeans um, this is a light track suit in navy blue I've had it for a while it's getting a bit faded just some more um, navy blue and black pants the white ones I wouldn't wear in winter but um, there's they're not taking up much room navy blue and then a couple of denim skirts black and white a black and white dress just a couple of um, jumpers that's just a an around the house one denim jacket never goes out of style that's the top to the tracksuit another sort of light cardigan this is probably the warmest thing that I own it's a really thick kind of jacket that I don't use all that often and then just a couple more black and white and navy and white dresses so that's my capsule wardrobe and what the other great thing too is when you are out and about looking at clothes and all these shops have their sales on you think oh you know that looks great but if you're sticking to your colors you're not going to buy unnecessary clothes you're not going to buy something that doesn't go with anything so when I'm out and about I know that I can pick up navy white red pink it doesn't have to be a certain shade of pink um, the animal print thing I've got some um, cute sneakers that have got like an animal print on them as well because that seems to be in and then yeah I've got some red sneaker type casual shoes and black boots and all the rest of it but that's half my wardrobe that's well that's half of our wardrobe my husband's got the other half so you can see I don't take up a lot of space I do have a chest of um, drawers over here with our underwear is in the um, side drawers and then in here um, I've got some like uh, knee length shorts and a few other accessories and things like that so um, I'll include the link to a post that I wrote about capsule wardrobes and how I chose the clothing that I um, do have and also a link to this um, guide these guidelines on how to create your own capsule wardrobe and it like you can buy it in a um, hard copy from Amazon for a couple of dollars and they'll post you the book or you can download it instantly um, for a couple of dollars and really will change how much space that you have in your wardrobe as well as um, trying to decide on clothes to wear so um, that's a capsule wardrobe for you have a great week I'll be back in the group again um, later this week it's the uh, coming to the end of June so we'll be ready for new challenges next month so I want to check on um, where you're at and how you're all getting along with your challenges so Bye for now.